Hello viewers welcome to another exciting edition on God's Eye, where we would be bringing you latest happenings around the globe. A popular social media app TikTok is launching an adult-only option, which is going to change on November 23rd. Before we proceed, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell for more update. TikTok is updating its live video functionality in several ways, changing the trajectory of live streams in the app. TikTok Live, TikTok's live streaming feature, has several updates to improve the experience for creators and the community. These changes will affect millions of users, so it's important to know what they are and how they change the way you use and watch live video. Here's what you should know about the change and its potential impact. On October 17, 2022, TikTok announced some changes to live streaming on its platform. The company issued a statement to his TikTok newsroom, explaining that Live will see some changes in the final months of 2022. This statement says a lot, but most users should only care about a few main points. How much and how your live experience will change depends on various demographics and usage factors. So what are some of the biggest updates you already know that two people can share a live stream on TikTok, but we've expanded this feature to allow up to five people to join your live video. Users can already try it in the app. Streamers also have additional settings, such as stickers, to make your live videos more interesting. Adding security elements, comment filters, and moderators are new features available to streamers. Users must be 16 or older to send direct private messages. Currently, at age 16 and over, he can live stream his TikToker with over 1,000 followers, but that will change on November 23rd. Users over the age of 18 can send virtual gifts and access monetization features. The app is still available for users over the age of 13 for her. Beginning November 23rd, people under the age of 18 will not be able to post live videos on TikTok. Her 16-year-old and her 17-year-old users who are currently using Live will have this feature disabled. You can block or hide comments that contain specific words in your live stream. However, TikTok has started building a feature that suggests keywords to filter based on keywords the app has already entered. This helps protect the comments section for both authors and viewers. TikTok should be a great entertainment app for its creators. This is especially true for streamers who bring in advertising revenue for the company. These updates help make live safer and more fun for creators. The creator's desire to go live is clear. The company has also launched a new guide to posting great live videos on his TikTok creator portal. First, multiplayer live streams allow creators to come together quickly and gather viewers for more popular live streams. It helps creators become more popular, and TikTok has more users. Streams with more people are also more interesting, so regular users will also benefit from this feature. Raising the minimum age helps keep minors safe online, but unfortunately minors are often victims of fraud, cyberbullying and other malicious activity. Live streaming can put your face in front of strangers, so it's safer to leave it to an adult. His teen, who gained followers by live-streaming TikTok, needs to change his strategy. These updates also help protect authors from offensive or hateful comments. As long as creators feel safe and comfortable, we ensure that they will continue to create content on our app. And other viewers can watch more live streams on TikTok, knowing they won't have to see violent comments about their favorite creators. All of these changes are the result of a joint effort to make her live TikTok videos more engaging for creators and viewers. TikTok really wants the app to be released more frequently and seen by more users. This helps businesses make more money. By providing both security and entertainment for creators and users, these videos will become a big part of the app. At least that's what she wants on TikTok. Users should check if these changes actually have a positive